I on the Truth Part 5. I on the Truth Part 5. A brief summary from the origin of Christianity to its present day reality. Monotheism was the core message of Jesus. Dash. The most important one, answered Jesus, is this Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Mark 12, verse 29. Dash. Jesus said to him, Away from me, Satan. For it is written, Worship the Lord your God, and serve him only. Matthew 4.10 Dash. Jesus said, And indeed, God is my Lord and your Lord, so worship him. That is a straight path. Quran 19.36 And Allah, may he be glorified, is both my Lord and your Lord, so make worship sincere for him alone. This which I have mentioned to you is the straight path that leads to the pleasure of Allah. But the factions of Jews and Christians differed regarding the matter of Jesus, peace be upon him. The Jews said about him that he is a magician. Some Christians said about him that he is the son of Allah. Woe to those who differ regarding him, from witnessing the great day of judgment, due to its scenes, reckoning and punishment. Miriam, 36-37 Prophet Muhammad reminded the world of the message of Jesus. Dash. Jesus said truly, God is my Lord and your Lord, so worship him alone. This is the straight path. Quran 351 Allah is my Lord and your Lord, and he is the only one that deserves to be followed and feared. So, worship him alone. This worship of Allah and being mindful of him that I instruct you to do is the straight path which has no crookedness. When Jesus realized that they were going to continue in their disbelief, he addressed the Israelites, saying, Who will help me in calling towards Allah? His chosen followers said, We are the ones who will help Allah's religion. We have faith in Allah and we follow you. Be a witness, O Jesus, that we submit to Allah by accepting his oneness and following him. Ali Imran, 51-52 Dash. Say, I am only a man like you, to whom has been revealed that your God is one God. So, whoever would hope for the meeting with his Lord let him do righteous work and not associate in the worship of his Lord anyone. Quran 18 110 Say, O Messenger, I am only a human like you, to whom it is revealed that your true God is one God who has no partner, namely Allah. Whoever fears meeting his Lord should do actions which conform with the sacred law, being sincere to his Lord in them, and should not associate any partner to his Lord in worship. al kaf 110 In the history of the religions which preceded Christianity, some heroes were regarded as gods. What was believed about Krishna by the Hindus, Buddha by Buddhists, Bacchus by the Greeks, Baal by the Babylonians, and Adonis by the Syrians was adopted by the Christians with respect to Jesus. Islam frees its followers from such superstitions. It rejects the doctrine of the Incarnation and of God's embodiment in any of his creatures. Islam emphatically states that neither Jesus nor any other human being can be God. Once life is a test and each soul is responsible for its own actions. People are born free of sins. It is only after they reach the age of puberty or maturity that they are held accountable for their sins. You ask and Jesus answers. It befits not the majesty of God that he begets a son for he is far above this. Glorified and exalted be he above all that they associate with him. When he decrees a thing, he only says to it, Be, and it is. Quran 1935 It does not befit Allah to have a son, exalted and free he is from this. When he intends something, it is enough for him to say regarding this thing, be, and it most definitely becomes. So he who is like this is free from having a son. And Allah, may he be glorified, is both my Lord and your Lord, so make worship sincere for him alone. This which I have mentioned to you is the straight path that leads to the pleasure of Allah. Miriam, 35-36 Jesus is not the Son of God? Jesus said, Dot, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. John 2017 Virgin Mary is not the only person who was told that the Holy Spirit will come to her. The mother of Prophet John according to the Bible was filled with the Holy Spirit. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zacharias, for your prayer is heard, and your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you shall call his name John. And you will have joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth. For he will be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink. He will also be filled with the Holy Spirit, even from his mother's womb. Luke 1 verses 13 to 15. 
we read. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Acts 1 verse 8. We also read. While Peter was still speaking these words, the Holy Spirit came on all who heard the message. Acts 10 verse 44. Is Jesus the only person who was called the Son of God? The term, Son of God, was not used literally, because in the Bible, God refers to many of his chosen servants as sons. The Hebrews believe that God is one, and that he has neither wife nor son in any literal sense, so the term, Son of God, meant servant of God. Some of the followers of Jesus who came from a Greek or Roman background misused this term. In their heritage the term, Son of God, signified an incarnation of a god or someone born out of a physical union between a male and a female goddess. Jacobi's God's Son and Firstborn Israel is my son, even my firstborn. Exodus 4 verse 22 Solomon's God's Son He shall build a house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. I will be his father, and he shall be my son. 2 Samuel 7 verses 13 to 14 Dash for as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Romans 8 verse 14 Dash. Ye are the children of the Lord your God. Deuteronomy 14 verse 1 Dash. Adam is the son of God, Adam, which was the son of God. Luke 3 verse 38 The believer can understand that if God can create Adam from dust, without male and female parents, he can easily create Jesus without a male parent. Muslims believe as well that Jesus is the Word of God. But this description does not mean that Jesus is the Son of God in a literal sense, but a symbolical one, means that he spoke the word of God. Also, when prophets were to speak God's revelation to others, they would say, Hear the word of the Lord. Jeremiah 7 verse 2, Hosea 4 verse 1. We read, But when they arrest you, do not worry about what to say or how to say it. At that time, you will be given what to say, for it will not be you speaking, but the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. Matthew 10 verses 19 to 20 Was Jesus called Emmanuel? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and will call him Emmanuel. Isaiah 7 verse 14 The prophecy states that his name will be Emmanuel, which means God with us, but it does not say that he will be Emmanuel. Mary never called her child Emmanuel as required by the prophecy. According to the Bible, she named him Jesus following instructions by the angel of God but kept her a virgin until she gave birth to a son, and he called his name Jesus. Matthew 1 verse 25 Jesus was never called Emmanuel, and if we assume that this name was meant to be for Jesus, this still does not make him God because according to the Bible, several people were in God's company. Therefore, Emmanuel's interpretation as God with us does not mean that God's company is exclusive to Jesus only. God is with his prophets and righteous servants every time and everywhere. Here we can see other names linked with God, in the Hebrew forms of El or Yah, belonging to other people. For example, Samuel means, the name of God. Elohimians, he is my God himself. Isaiah means, the salvation of the Lord. Adbil means, the miracle of God. Uriomians, light of God. Elijah means, God the Lord, the strong Lord. The angel informed Mary that the Lord is with you before conceiving Jesus. That is to say Mary was in God's company before conceiving and giving birth to Jesus. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Luke 1 verse 28 was with his prophet Joseph. Because the patriarchs were jealous of Joseph, they sold him as a slave into Egypt. But God was with him. Acts 7 verse 9 the birth and naming of the child Emmanuel when read in context was a sign for King Ahaz and his people, who were about to be invaded by two rival kingdoms. That God will be with them and give them victory. The name God is with us means that God will support us. The meaning of the name is understandable since the child's name was supposed to indicate to King Ahaz that God was on his side. Again, the Lord spoke to Ahaz, Ask the Lord your God for a sign, whether in the deepest depths or in the highest heights. But Ahaz said, I will not ask. I will not put the Lord to the test. Then Isaiah said, Hear now, you house of David. Is it not enough to try the patience of men? Will you try the patience of my God also? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. 
the virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son, and will call him Emmanuel. He will eat curds and honey when he knows enough to reject the wrong and choose the right. But before the boy knows enough to reject the wrong and choose the right, the land of the two kings you dread will be laid waste. Isaiah 7 verses 10 to 16. The promise was fulfilled by God, and they were given the victory. The king of Assyria complied by attacking Damascus and capturing it. He deported its inhabitants to Kir and put Rezin to death. 2 Kings 16 verse 9. In actual Hebrew, Isaiah 7 verse 14, does not say a virgin would give birth but that a young woman would conceive. The Hebrew word, Alma, used in, Isaiah 7 verse 14, means young woman, not a virgin. The Hebrew word for virgin is, Betula. The Revised Standard Version Bible is one of the few Christian Bibles that use the translation young woman instead of replacing it with the word virgin. Symbolic names are frequently used by Hebrews in the Bible. Many names cannot be taken literally. Dash. In those days Judah will be saved and Jerusalem will live in safety. This is the name by which it will be called, the Lord our righteous Savior. Jacob was called a piece of land face of God. Genesis 32 verse 30. Dash. Moses built an altar and called it the Lord is my banner. Exodus 17 verse 15. Bithiah, a daughter of Pharaoh, her name means daughter of Jehovah. Eliab, his name means my God is my father. Dash. So Abraham called that place the Lord will provide. And to this day it is said, on the mountain of the Lord it will be provided. Genesis 22 verse 14. Jesus confirmed his prophethood, his submission to God, his servitude to God, and his status as a human messenger. Dash. Here is my servant whom I have chosen, the one I love, in whom I delight. I will put my spirit on him, and he will proclaim justice to the nations. Matthew 12 verse 18. Dash. Jesus said to them, a prophet is not without honor except in his own town, among his relatives, and in his own home. Mark 6 verse 4. Dash. Verily, I am a servant of God, he has granted me the scripture, and he has made me a prophet, and he has made me blessed wherever I may be, and has commanded me to pray and to give alms as long as I live. Quran 19 30 31. Jesus, peace be upon him, said, I am the servant of Allah. He gave me the gospel and made me one of his prophets. And he made me a great benefit for the servants wherever I am. And he ordered me to perform prayer and give zakat for as long as I live. Miriam, 30-31 Is Jesus the light of the world? The disciples were described as the light of the world. Jesus said, You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything, except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead they put it on its stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Matthew 5 verses 13 to 16. The disciples were described as the children of the light. You are all children of the light and children of the day. We do not belong to the night or to the darkness. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 5 Jesus is the light of the world. When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. John 8 verse 12 Therefore, when Jesus described himself as the light of the word, it was not a literal description but a symbolical one, and this description can be applied on others. God the Almighty alone is the only literal light of the world. God is the true source of light to his creatures including Jesus himself. This is the message we have heard from him and declare to you, God is light, in him there is no darkness at all. If we claim to have fellowship with him and yet walk in the darkness, we lie and do not live out the truth. 1 John 1 verses 5 to 6 The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Psalm 27 verse 1 Jesus and God are not one? Jesus said, I will remain in the world no longer, but they are still in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them by the power of your name, the name you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one. John 17 verse 11 Jesus explains the meaning of his oneness with God. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all. 
No one can snatch them out of my father's hand. I and the father are one. Again the Jews picked up stones to stone him. But Jesus said to them, I have shown you many great miracles from the father. For which of these do you stone me? We are not stoning you for any of these, replied the Jews, but for blasphemy, because you, a mere man, claim to be God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I have said you are gods? If he called them gods, to whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken, what about the one whom the Father set apart as his very own and sent into the world? Why then do you accuse me of blasphemy because I said I am God's son? Do not believe me unless I do what my Father does. But if I do it, even though you do not believe me, believe the miracles, that you may know and understand that the Father is in me, and I in the Father. Again, they tried to seize him. But he escaped their grasp. John 10 verses 29 to 39 We can understand here that the meaning of his oneness with God, that Jesus did miracles with the permission of God, such as some acts which supposed to be done only by God. Many messengers performed miracles, including Noah, Moses and other biblical prophets such as Ezekiel, Elijah and many others, and these miracles only took place by the permission of God. So as to demonstrate the authenticity of the prophet, Jesus also indicated that just as Jews were called gods as the word of God came to them. He was also called the Son of God because the Word of God came to him. God, Jesus and the disciples were described as one. Jesus said that they may all be one, just as you, Father, are in me, and I in you, that they also may be in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. The glory that you have given me I have given to them, that they may be one even as we are one, I in them and you in me, that they may become perfectly one. So that the world may know that you sent me and loved them even as you loved me. John 17 verses 21 to 23. It is very clear that it was not a literal description but a symbolical one. Because there is one loaf, we, who are many, are one body, for we all share the one loaf. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 17. Here we read. For just as each of us has one body with many members, and these members do not all have the same function, so in Christ we, though many, form one body. And each member belongs to all the others. Romans 12 verses 4 to 5. A married couple were described as one. And said, For this reason a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. Matthew 19 verse 5. This is an indication for showing how close a man and a woman become after marriage. Therefore, the oneness of Jesus and God does not mean that Jesus is God or even the Son of God but it is an allegory used for showing how Jesus is close and attached to God as a prophet and messenger of God. We can notice that meaning as well in the words of Jesus in his description to the relation between God the Almighty and his believers, God, Jesus and the disciples are one. This is a symbolic usage to show how the disciples are close to God and Jesus. It is an analogy referring to God's company, assistance, and protection. God is one and symbolically referred to him as the Father, and that Jesus is just the teacher. It's a way of saying God is the creator, sustainer, and supreme master of all. Dash. One God and Father of all. Ephesians 4 verse 6. Dash. But you are not to be called rabbi, for you have one teacher, and you are all brothers. And call no man your father on earth, for you have one Father, who is in heaven neither be called instructors, for you have one instructor, the Christ. Matthew 23 verses 8 to 10. The oneness of God was the core of the message of Jesus. And the Lord will be king over all the earth. In that day the Lord will be the only one, and his name the only one. Zechariah 14 verse 9. Jesus disapproved anyone worshipping him, and in vain they worship me. Matthew 15 verse 9. 